After watching Phineas and Ferb, I decided to rate each character based on how much riz they have. Phineas is pretty smart, I mean, the dude is capable of making roller coasters, but he's not really capable of making moves on a girl. Barely got any riz. Ferb, on the other hand, is a riz god. I mean, the dude doesn't even speak. He's mute for pretty much the entire series, and yet, he has the most unspoken riz. I mean, the guy's buff, he's good at games, the dude can do basically anything. And he's got Vanessa. Like, come on, like, do I even need to say anymore? Candace barely has any riz. I mean, most of the series, she's just simping over Jeremy, and she's just trying to bust Phineas and Ferb, so basically doesn't have her priorities straight. Barely got any riz. Harry has unspoken riz. I mean, he can't talk because he's a platypus, but he's a secret agent, he's got a fedora, no Nobody knows he's a secret agent. He's slick. I mean, the guy's perfect. He, he's he got riz. Isabel is in the same boat as Candace. I mean, the entire series, she's simping over Phineas. Phineas doesn't care because he's inventing stuff. She's got zero riz. Sylvan Schmertz is married. He's got a kid. I mean, he's a pretty good parent, a good husband. But on the other hand, he's an evil genius. I'm gonna say he's got questionable riz. Algeet and Buford kind of have a dynamic going on. I mean, one's nerdy, one's brawny. So I don't really know what to say about them. In conclusion, Ferb and Perry clearly have the most riz. Unspoken riz. Riz gods. They basically aren't comparable to any other character in the series. And that's that.